Hey guys, back again. Um, I look a mess. Excuse it. Uh, I'm guessing you're used to it now, so it's okay. Um, but this morning, I was watching my YouTube sus subscriptions every morning and every night. I watch um, subscriptions, my subscriptions on YouTube and um, see what's going on in the people's lives that I watch. Um, I watch a fair few vloggers and stuff. Um, one in particular I started watching because he really likes Japan and he wants to move over here to Japan. So um, I'm interested to um, see what he does. And he actually does um, daily vlogs now, like me. So um, it's great. Well, he does it better than me. He actually does it daily. I skip a few days here and there. But anyway, um, so today I was watching... See, I've got to cut that rambling before it um, gets out of hand. But today I was watching, this morning I was watching a video from J Hill Life. Um, and he's actually a vlogger from the UK. And um, today he was talking about how when we grow up as adults, we lose our creativity. And um, we don't get to revisit it so much. And he was talking about how he watches Pokemon um, still as an adult because he likes to go back to that era in his life where he watched Pokemon and um, experienced it. Um, now, I partly agree with his statement. I think when we grow up as adults, yes, we do lose our creativity a lot. Um, I think it's the shift from innocence to adulthood and responsibility that makes us lose um, creativity so much. Um, but I think if you are a truly creative person, you don't lose it. I think you find ways. Um, for me as an adult, my whole, my whole adult life, I have found ways to be creative. Um, during high school, uh, not high school, during university, sorry. Um, I did scrapbooking for about four or five years and I was fairly, um, dominant in that world. I was nowhere like a celebrity and stuff, but I was in a magazine or two and I went to, um... I went to some conventions and things like that. Um, so I really enjoyed the scrapbooking side of it. But after university, I sort of lost uh, momentum for that. And so I stopped doing that. And then I went into um, doing online role-playing games, particularly that of Twilight. So I was writing stories and um, doing things like that, fan fiction of Twilight. And now I've moved on to The Hunger Games, which is now currently my favourite book. Um, I, I've also been reading. I read, like like I just said, Twilight, Harry Potter, Hunger Games. They're all, like, teenage books, but I really enjoy them, and I love the romance and the childish feel of them. So I love reading those. But um, he specifically talked about um, if you watch any, like, shows or anything that are from your childhood, um... And I have to say, yes, I am a big child. I am a huge child. Even now, um, I'm still... I have Care Bears. I don't know if Josh has has knows about the Care Bears, old 1980s um, cartoons. Care Bears. I love the Care Bears. I actually have three DVDs of the Care Bears, um, my favourite movies of all time. And I also love Disney movies. The current ones and the old ones. The Little Mermaid is my favourite. I love watching it. Um, so yeah, they make me happy. And I just think generally I'm a big kid at heart. I love colour. I love colour. I love pink. Um, if you could see my house right now, every inch of it is pink. My carpet is pink. My laptop case. My bag. My sheets. T-shirts my external hard drive, my iPad case, my hamster's water bottle, like everything is pink and I just love it. Um, the tinsel from Christmas, it's still up on the roof. I don't know if you can see it up there. Yeah, there you go. And my t-shirt that's hanging there from being washed um, is pink. <laughs> but I am a big child. I love to have fun. I love to have a good time. Um, and yeah, so I don't think, I think if you are creative and you love that side of your life, you'll never lose it. I think it's those that don't respect that childhood and that creativity that actually don't get the chance to be there anymore. And it's, it's their own fault. I think, I think you can 
make creativity and enjoy childhood um, your entire life. And I think Josh is doing that. So good on you, Josh. Um, anyway, guys, this is a really random blog, but it's a video response to... Um, I didn't mention that at the beginning. <laughs> it's a video response to Josh's video. So I'll put a link to Josh here somewhere. Um, and yeah, have a good day. Um, nice and early. I have to go and visit some friends tonight. So bye-bye.